today I'm recovering data from this device here so this is a PNY micro SD card 32 gig so it has a pretty interesting design to it um, I'm not sure if I'm familiar with the uh, circuitry of this specific unit but let's uh, strip the car down to bare bones and see what's going on so before we do anything let's take the card plug it into uh, the card adapter for PC3000 hook this up so desk is opened uh, we can go into power to initialize it and looking at this here um, it seems good <laughs> I mean it came up all of the commands went through and uh, seems to be okay everywhere it's uh, usually a good sign let's open up the first sector it says that it read it successfully but what do we see uh, the values are all zeroed the values are all zeroed here let's scroll into the middle open up random sector it's empty and it's empty here if we were to uh, go to any sector it's gonna appear empty no matter where we go obviously there is not going to be any partition tables because they're all empty and if we look for any type of uh, file system traces it's not going to find anything because it's only going to be looking at zeros now the reason for that is that the translator isn't loading and if the translator isn't loading, we don't have access to the logical image of the device. Due to moisture, we can have uh, corrosion buildup underneath those, uh, underneath the mask that we can't really see right now. But if we remove that layer, we may be able to see that the trace that it's supposed to link with isn't connected anymore. That could be the reason why it's acting like that. Some tape to keep it in place. And the scratch pen just take a little bit out at this point we're exposed enough of the interface to check if it's connected or not and from what I see here I can say that it isn't it looks fully attached I don't need to strip the whole thing but uh, these uh, schematics if they don't exist already in a database um, just for the aesthetics of it I do take a full picture of them before the development begins now all these connections they seem to be uh, good it needs a close-up review just to make sure there are no traces that are broken sometimes you know having a card in your pocket with keys or something like that could damage uh, or have indented the the, uh, the mask and break one of these traces so something that's easily uh, can be overlooked so while exploring my options and uh, waiting out uh, things that could be done with the device I checked uh, databases of the suppliers nobody had it I haven't designed one of these on my by myself uh, yet I haven't had an opportunity to so uh, I would be kind of uh, out of luck right now because um, the next thing that I can do to resolve this is to start searching for a compatible donor all we have uh, to go by is this picture right here <laughs> uh, during the inspection of uh, the um, board I noticed something over here um, this is just from me holding the uh, device with tweezers nothing is damaged there but uh, over here and there is uh, this dark spot at first when I quickly looked at it I figured it was just uh, you know uh, unscratched mask that is laying over the uh, trace but this trace is supposed to lead into this position here and if we do the probing
it doesn't probe. So let's see this. What's happening here? Just gonna tin all of this stuff here. Okay, we have connection now. I just want to check the surrounding connections as well. Okay, nothing else is touching. Perfect. So the problem with the card is far more uh, severe than a single trace that was damaged. Uh, as I started to uh, work on one, I noticed that there's another one and another one and another one. And as you can see uh, in the uh, uh, lower left section of this card, uh, right around this area right here, after the repair work, you can see how uh, the copper traces, they're just crumbling. So uh, what I do in situations like that is that I take a close-up picture of the device and then I email it <laughs> to myself. The plan is we're going to use the multimeter to probe it to see if the trace is connected from via to via and if we got a contact between them. If we don't we highlight it on the picture and we're going to link it later on. I set it up here. If my trace is connected I should get this noise. I do. Next one, I do. Third one, I don't. Fourth one, I don't. Fifth, no. Sixth, no. Obviously, whatever is broken here is broken for sure. So that goes without saying. There's tons of stuff that needs repair here. 
but zoom in on that no connection no connection no connection no connection obviously no connection we have connection here we don't have connection here we don't have connection here and we don't have connection here maybe we can correct that it's not going to be easy but it's doable so let's go uh, to the um, to the scene again and uh, let's draw out everything that we need to reconnect so as um, as I remember and select line and I'm gonna select color for let's say orange uh, third one already was misbehaving so we're connecting all right the, the key is to keep them different colors so that you know it's easier to uh, see where they are visually later and uh, there, we're gonna do the same for all of these and obviously I'll try to patch all of these as well no point in watch me draw and paint it's uh, I know I'm really good at it but <laughs> we're gonna just fast forward to that so here's my work of art uh, all of these color-coded wires need to be reconnected uh, with the micro jumpers
gonna start the new task just because we already um, you know uh, paid attention to a few sectors before I don't want to clear the map out and we're gonna save it into an image file select 32 gigs hit apply power on the unit color-coded wires and two of these this one and that one uh, had to be basically remapped uh, command pad was also uh, remapped and this is what we end up with as a final final product it looks a bit like a mess I can't really clean it up right now because it's taped uh, and there's still leftover flux here and there uh, but generally you can see that all of these tiny wires basically running from one via to the next to make sure that everything on the same trace is ringing and connected so if we were to count it let's go one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve 13, 14, 15, 16 wires were broken. 16 wires were broken under the coat and they looked they looked like they didn't get any damage on them. They looked fine. Only up until uh, I started uh, tracing it with the multimeter. I started to find out that one isn't connected, then the next, then the next. 16 traces altogether. What would have caused such rot? I have no idea. I have never seen it before. And uh, late last night, I got to a point where I, I traced it down to this command wire. Everything, um, everything was ringing in the bottom part, but I, I kept getting uh, busy on one of the commands that are being sent. And uh, I tr started tracing interface and where the interface leads. And I found that uh, this pad wasn't connected to the, to the via. So I ran a jumper and bam. It came up I was really excited to see uh, those commands take place but that wasn't the end of it so right now I have the device hooked up to uh, SD card adapter what do we have here uh, so this is the map of sectors and uh, this is our uh, main screen and power up the unit to initialize it as you guys can see it passes everything including the product name okay that when I saw this I was beyond excited I, I knew that I'm done <laughs> I knew that I, I finally beat this card and uh, then I started to uh, explore the map and I clicked on this and even when I saw this I was excited because it wasn't just displaying zeros at this point it was actually displaying this displaying some sort of header but as I started crawling through sectors, I saw that this header is the same all the way throughout. Let me uh, walk you down this. So this pad here so I tested all of them against ground and I saw that this tiny trace right there was linked with ground. It was it was buzzing on the ground for me. This is the first time I see a card degrade like this um, that actually is fixed. Um, this time we should be able to uh, see the root after it initializes. This is uh, by far my favorite episode yet uh, for uh, repair work on micro SD cards. Uh, you know, I've got a bunch of cards sent in before that have salt water damage uh, with rotten interface, but usually that ends up uh, being fixed after you jump a couple of wires. This case needed like 16 or even 17 wires to be redone. 
and uh, honestly going into it I didn't think it's gonna need that much work I didn't even know that uh, you know traces can be degraded like that now it opens up something for me that uh, during diagnostics during troubleshooting I'll be looking out for and uh, I'm sure it's gonna help a lot of people in the future when a push comes to shove. I was able to clone the card fully. Unfortunately, the file structure degraded to a point where it could not be reused, but luckily for us, this card only had photos on it. They were nicely organized, and this is something that the customer would have to redo uh, once they got the footage back. Majority of content that the customer wanted was recovered. If you guys have any questions, drop them in the comments below. Uh, thank you for watching the episode. I know it's a long one, but if you like them in this format, let me know. Uh, but it's just like so many things that happened uh, in this case that I, I, I cut it out as much as I could But I also wanted to keep the story straight so you guys understand what kind of work was involved These videos may look like I sit down and get them banged out in half an hour But it's entirely untrue some of these cases I work on for days if not weeks So that's why compiling the footage later on it becomes a bit more challenging because you know if something is fresh in your memory Editing it out is quick and easy, but something that you worked on two weeks ago and now you have um, a roll of footage to, to go through to figure out what you want to keep and what you want to get rid of, it's it's also really, really time consuming. So I appreciate you guys uh, sticking around, watching this video to the end and uh, definitely hit thumbs up if you did. Thank you very much once again. I'll see you in the next episode.